most accurate forecast. Storm Tracker 59. Good morning, everybody. We've been talking about fog all morning long, so make sure you give yourself some extra time on that morning commute. Welcome back to 59 News. I'm meteorologist Mike Slifer. We're looking live right now over Harper Road and I-77 in Beckley, and you can see the interstate here shrouded in that fog. It'll look a little bit better once we get a little later into the day. I do think we burn that fog off pretty quickly, despite the fact that we won't see too much sunshine today, but once we get our temperatures to climb just a little bit, conditions will improve. Later on today, we're expecting more rain as our cold front passes. The heaviest rain remains to our east. Maybe a couple of isolated downpours that could lead to a couple of isolated high water issues around here, but I still don't think we need to worry too much about flooding and the severe weather risk for the remainder of the day looks very low. So that's good news there too. Just make sure you've got those umbrellas in the car since we will see some showers pass later on today. Our fog tracker is showing that fog plentiful across the area. This light gray that you see here is visibility down to about a half mile. The white that you see here in Tazewell County shows visibility down to about a quarter of a mile and then patchy fog around the area dropping visibility down below a mile. So just give yourself some extra time on the roadways. We've already got some showers popping up here on the storm tracker 59 HD dual live Doppler radar. A lot of the activity remains mainly to our north and to our west, but we will slowly start to see these storms move closer or to us. So some showers, maybe even a weak rumble of thunder possible through the morning hours. I think the better chance for any activity is actually going to be this afternoon. This is a picture that was submitted to us on Twitter a couple of days ago. I did want to save it because when we get into these ruts where we've got gray and gloomy conditions every day, it's always a nice reminder that without the rain, we can't get rainbows like this. So I want to see your pictures. Make sure you send those in. You can send them into Storm Tracker 59 on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram, and we will try to get them up on the newscast later on today at noon. As for our day planner, we do see the chance for more showers after lunch. That's the better chance for showers and storms today, although still possible for a couple of them to roll through this morning. We make it up to about 77 degrees. Isolated downpours is the thing that I want to stress here. With isolated downpours, and since we saw rainfall yesterday, maybe an isolated high water issue later on today. But again, I really don't think we need to worry too much about flooding. Just remain weather aware later on today. We dried things out pretty quickly overnight, and by tomorrow, the sunshine is back. High pressure hangs out with us for the day, and we've got another front that's actually going to approach through the day tomorrow and into Friday. But without much moisture to use, we don't see much of a shower chance as this front rolls through. Maybe an isolated shower or two, no severe weather expected, and we will slowly see things get better as we get later into the day on Friday. And then by Saturday, we're actually looking pretty nice, 81 with some sunshine. On Sunday, though, the shower chance is back, and we enter another active and rainy pattern next week. Katie. We're putting a lot of use uh, in those umbrellas this week, I think. Yeah, today is more one of those days you want to stay indoor. Maybe get some of those chores, laundry, clean around the house, get those things done today so you can enjoy this nice weather. Or just sit down and watch Netflix. That's there my you go. plan. There you go. That's a good day to do that, too. When you're not.